morning. It's Friday. Yay! I'm making pancakes and what I'm doing today is I'm making the blueberry pancake mix that I've been making for a couple weeks now. Um, but then I put banana in it because I had some bananas that need to be used. So I'm just going to have pancakes only. I'm not going to have a sausage or anything like that this morning. Um, but they smell really good and I taste the batter. So it tastes really good too. I'm excited about that. Um, having my coffee, I've got a load of laundry started, pretty much plan to stick around the house today, but I want to work on my shawl. I did not get clue one done last night. So in between working and chores, I'm going to maybe possibly power through and finish that. It's a lot more, um, work than what I thought it would be. So I definitely regret not starting the MCAL on day one with everyone else. So anyways, I'm going to go make my breakfast. I would give you guys an update on the green pans. So you guys were with me whenever I bought them. I think that was week one of Vlogtober. I've used them every single day, at least two times a day for ever since the day I got them. Um, and I love them. They're really nice. They haven't, the handles obviously are metal, so there's no complaint there. Um, they've been easy to take care of. They've been non-stick so far, like they're supposed to be. They're good, honestly. I would definitely recommend them if you're in the market for some ceramic coated pans. They're supposed to be, um, you know, healthy, a healthy alternative to nonstick. I flipped my pancake too early and it fell apart. <laughs> Anyways, so I was telling you guys about the green pans. So I would definitely recommend them. Um, they are supposed to be a healthy alternative to nonstick cookware. So it doesn't have any of the lead or whatever, the Teflon, any of the bad stuff. There's a whole list of things it doesn't have in it. Um, so it's supposed to be very safe for you to use. Um, I'll link them below for you guys in case you're interested in checking them out. we're gonna have this weekend we built a six pack so two are funky buddha and one is prairie i'll start with the prairie so this is the prairie one i have no idea how to say that word so we're just not going to but it's a double ipa and what i'll do is whenever i'm actually drinking these i'll try to actually insert the information about the beer from Untapped, so you guys can read about it if you're interested. Um, anyway, so that's the first one. Prairie is not my favorite brewery, but I like to try all the beers anyway. Funky Buddha. They are definitely one of my favorites right now. So the first one I'll show you guys is called Last Snow, and it's a coconut and coffee porter. It's 6.4% alcohol. I don't know if they have any information really. It just says it's roasty, nutty, and creamy. Yeah, there isn't really anything cool in here. But Funky Buddha is awesome. So if you're in an area where you can find Funky Buddha, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Every single thing they have is unique and awesome. And oh my gosh, it's just so good. So the last one is this one. It's called Sticky Treats. Nissa Blondale with vanilla. I'm very excited about this one. 5.1% alcohol. And it just says light, fragrant, and sticky. So has a Rice Krispie Treat looking guy on there. I'm excited about that. So that's the beers we'll have this weekend. Um, I might have one this afternoon. I don't know. Just kind of depends on how the day goes. So yeah, I'd just like to show you guys that. I try to get, try to build a six pack with my husband on the weekend. Um, so that would be, you know, three for each of us. We coffee each other and have the same beers. That's the one for the weekend. It's really nice out right now. It's in the low 60s. I actually got my outfit right on the first try today. <laughs> Just a long sleeve t-shirt is what I went with and it seems to be appropriate. And then I'm wearing my Reebok leggings that I got yesterday. 
So far, so good. I like the way they fit, um, and they have a pocket in the front, like in the waistband, so you can put your keys in there, which I always carry keys with me um, because I go in and out so much. I'm just so afraid I'll get locked out of the house. So a pocket is a must for me. These are so good. They're like Cheez-Its, but they're vegan. Mm. I'm gonna flat iron my hair really quick. I know it's like way late in the day, so there's kind of no reason, but I'm going to anyway, just because it feels like gross and fuzzy. So I'm gonna do that really quick. In case you guys want to know, the flat iron I have is the Sea-Doo Ionic Ceramic Pro Flat Iron, um, and it's a two-inch plate. And I've had this thing probably for 11 years, and it has been great. The only thing that hasn't been great is probably in the last like six months or so, it started to short out with a cord, um, but. For some reason, it's not doing that anymore, but it's been a really good flat iron. And it goes from 250 to 410 degrees, and it has a dial. So I love that. So that's my flat iron. And then, let's see. Yeah, and then the product you guys saw me using, this is Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Oil and Ylang Ylang. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> Hope and repair. And it's a three in one oil. And I actually just put that on afterwards. I put literally one squirt. If you had if you had shorter hair or um, thinner hair than I do, then you don't need one whole entire squirt or pump or whatever it is of it. You need like maybe like a I would say less is more with this. Start out with way less and then add a little bit, you know, if you need to, because it t doesn't take very much for your hair to look like a greasy mess. Um, but I just put that on afterwards because it kind of smooths out any flyaways or anything that I have that are kind of like funky. And also you can use it before you wash your hair. You can put like a ton of it on your hair. And what I do is I put a lot of it on my hair about once a week before I go to bed and then I'll wash my hair in the morning. That way it just kind of soaks in. It's kind of like, think about it like, kind of like a hot oil treatment, but it's not, you know, it's not hot. Um, but yeah, I put, whenever I do it over my whole entire hair to sleep in it like that, I do like probably seven or eight pumps, like a ton. Um, yeah, and I just pull it all through. But I like it for everything really. I just found it not long ago and I have the shampoo and conditioner of it too. So I'll link that for you guys below if you're interested. Um, it's pretty affordable too. I think this was like 10 bucks. So it wasn't, you know, it's not a uh, luxury product by any means. And it lasts a really long time because I've had it for, gosh, I don't know, well over a month. And I've only used that much. So I haven't used very much of it, but I use it every time I flat iron my hair and every time after I wash my hair after my hair is dry. So, yeah, I mean, that's great. So, anyways, thanks for doing my hair with me. It was super fun. First up is Sticky Treats from Funky Buddha. So I think we're gonna watch Better Call Saul. I'm gonna try really hard to work on my Mystery Knit Along Clue 1 still. So I'm gonna try to work on that while we watch Better Call Saul. Um, Better Call Saul is pretty tame as far as like, it's not very action filled. So I should be able to pay attention to this and listen to that, hopefully. And this is just a pattern repeat at this point. So I kind of have it down. <laughs> so hopefully I can finish it. I don't think I'll finish it tonight. I'm on, what row, 71 and I have to go to row, 
me tell you guys. I've got to go to row 95. So I have 71 to 95. What is that? Like 16 rows? But they're double. So it's 30 rows, basically. 32 rows. So, well, whatever. Anyway, it's quite a few rows. So we'll see. We will see. So maybe I'll get it done. Maybe not. All right, guys. So I made it through row 82 on clue one of the Stephen West MCAL. So I only have to go to row 95 and then that's the end of clue whatever, clue one. So hopefully I will actually finish that tomorrow. I know I've said that three days in a row, but hoping it will actually happen tomorrow and maybe I can start on clue two. Um, I kind of don't know what color, cause there's five colors total. And I don't know which one of the four contrasting colors I want to use for clue two because remember I've seen a spoiler so now it kind of makes the pressure be like ooh, which one should I do because after you see you kind of get your head in there a little bit different so I'm gonna think about that and basically I don't know I'm hoping I'll cast or whatever start clue two tomorrow hopefully right um, but yeah so that's basically what I've done all evening long we watched three episodes of Better Call Saul, um, season, whatever the most current season is, season four, I guess, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what season it is, but anyway, the most current season. I really like this show. Um, yeah, but I guess that's basically all I have to say today. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a, a little video clip of what progress I've made on my shawl in a second so if you don't want to see you know close your eyes obviously if you if you don't want to see that but after that I guess that's gonna be it for the night so thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for being here every day I hope you're enjoying vlogtober I'm really enjoying filming it so I will see you guys tomorrow bye